Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to D1 DLC. My name is Brad, and this is Smash and Grab. Smash and Grab by Sleeping Dogs developer United Front Games is a 3v3 online smash em up. We got to try it out in a recent beta and while there are certainly some issues, it's shaping up to be a lot of fun. You're done. Two teams of three race to loot 50k in a cityscape arena using a variety of weapons to smash their way into shops and grab the cash. As each game progresses, more security systems are overridden, making it possible to loot high quality products including upgraded weapons. Players take direct control of a gang leader, but are accompanied by a lieutenant and a small gang. Together. There are currently seven leaders to choose from, and they all have different play styles, from big, hard-hitting melee weapons to ranged attacks of various natures. Each leader also has different special abilities with various effects. These range from healing and buffing your gang to direct damage and crowd control. My personal favourite? The Spray Can Flamethrower. Your lieutenants and the remaining gang members are chosen from a group of characters, enabling a variety of gang makeups. If your leader is a frontline heavy hitter, then a healing lieutenant and ranged gang members could be the perfect combination. Alternatively, perhaps you want to sit back and rain fire upon your foes. Having a group of melee gang members to soak up the hits and keep the enemy at bay may be exactly what you need. There is a progression system for each leader, with unlockable perks based on experience gained in games. While there's nothing special about the perks being standard direct upgrades to stats or buffs to skills, they offer a solid incentive to keep playing. There's also unlockable cosmetic items to customise your gang leader as befitting his or her badass status. The gameplay itself is somewhat basic but surprisingly fun. Busting open shops to grab the loot is a matter of bashing the left mouse button repeatedly and claiming the loot is the same but with the right. While getting into a shop front is visceral and satisfying, it can at times take annoyingly long to do both the smashing and the grabbing. This is the good right here. This is some designer shit. Bro, we got a fucking seller. Combat between gangs is slightly more nuanced but certainly not complex. Attack, counter and grab, used in conjunction with the various special moves, is about the sum of it. It's simple but effective and honestly it suits the gameplay really well. We did have a number of connectivity issues while we were playing. But as it's in a beta state, we don't think it's anything to be concerned about and we would expect these issues to be resolved prior to the game heading into early access. After all, this is a beta that's happening more than a month before the game actually releases. All in all, Smash and Grab is fun and it feels like it's got enough variety and progression to keep us coming back for more. It's still a long way from release, expected in 2017, but we've enjoyed what we've played and we're keen to come back for more. To keep up with everything Smash and Grab, keep your eyes glued to D1 DLC and don't forget to subscribe.